for this week's spelling I don't want you to um, study any words I want you to make sure that you are able to pronounce these double sounds let's look at the first one R E U U O U A O then you need to think of three words with the R sound. Let's say scop, slop, in mach. After you have written down three words for each sound, I want you to choose one word, let's say slop, and write a sentence with that one word. Not with all three, only one word. You can decide which one you want to write a sentence with. We are going to, we are going to revise some toll that we did. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do, we're going to look at Fuchwoorde. What is a fuchwoord? It's a conjunction. So we use a fuchwoord to join two sentences together. Okay, remember if we use the conjunction want, you always add a comma before the want. Okay. So with these with the fuchwoorde, we are going to do number one, two, and three. I want you to rewrite the whole sentence and just fill in the correct fuchwoord. They've given us the fuchwoord here at the top. Number one, ek dra a trai, hmm, dit is koud. I wear a jersey, hmm, it is cold. Okay, maar dit is koud, omdat dit is koud, want dit is koud, of as dit is koud. Nee, want dit is koud. Nummer twee, ek dra a trai, dit is koud. Ek dra a trai, omdat dit koud is. Nummer drie, dit reen, hmm, ons, gaan toch, ons gaan toch sokker oefen. Dit reen, maar ons gaan toch sokker oefen. Kijk, okay, bier. Gaan ons kyk na trappe van vergelijking. Trappe van vergelijking is degrees of comparison. So it comes in sets of three. Let's look at goed. Beter, beste. The first one, you don't, you're not comparing it to anything. The second one, you're comparing it to one other thing. And then the last one, you will be comparing it to more than one. Dit is warmer, that's the second. Warmste, the third one. And derban as kaapstad. So, we are comparing it to two things. Will it be your first degree, your second degree, or the third degree? Remember I said, yeah, you, yeah, you are comparing it to one thing, yeah, to two things, and yeah, to three things, or more than three. Durban and Cape Town, so it will be the second one, warmer. So now you write in your workbook, that is warmer in color, and Durban as in Kaapstad. Number two, Sutherland is the kouer of koudste dorp in South Africa. Okay, so they're saying Sutherland is the coldest or colder town in South Africa. So now it's been compared to not two but more than two places in South Africa, the whole of South Africa. So it will be koudste. Write in your workbook. Sutherland is the koudste in color dorp in South Africa. Dit reen baie, dit reen hmm, meer of meeste in die nacht as in die dag. One, two, so it will be the second degree. Dit reen meer um, in die nacht as in die dag. Dit reen die meeste in die nacht. Okay, well done. The last one for tall. Lees die volgende sinne. Okay. Now we are doing bywoorde. Ok. 
okay adverbs we did it in english as well you get the uh, bywoord van tyd that is when the manner how any plaque is where okay so now we are going to take these sentences apart saying wanneer het het gebeur hoe het het gebeur en waar het het gebeur vandag speel ons lekker binne today we play outside okay so when vandag hoe lekker and where binne so this is the way you are going to do it so you look the first one it says tight you write tight what is the tight in that sentence when it's vandag jou wyse that means how lekker in waar that means where are they playing Bene. Okay, so that will be number one. Now we're moving to number two. Gister het dit hard gereen. Let's quickly write down. Tijd. Weise. Waar. Tijd means the time. So when did it happen? Where did it, uh, how did it happen and where? Okay. So, gister het het hard gereen buiten. Yesterday, um, it ra the, it, the rain was very loud outside. So, when gister, how did it rain? Hard. En waar het het gereen? Buiten. Now, number three, you can do on your own. Our story for the week. Die rooi henniekie. Ek gaan Millie bitte plant. Wie sal my help? Nie ek nie. So it says I'm going to plant. Uh, who's going to help me? Then the dog and the cat answered, Not, uh, uh, not me. Number two. Dan doen ek dit self. Then I'll do it by myself. Wie sal my help om die Millie's te pluk? Who's going to help me to pick the corn? Nie ek nie. Not me. Dan doen ek het self. Then I'll do it by myself. Wie sal my help om die millies te kook? Who is going to help me to cook the corn? The cat said, nie ek nie. Dog said, nie ek nie. The donkey said, nie ek nie. And the cow said, nie ek nie. So all of them said, not me. Dan doen ek dit self. We're following the numbers. Wie sal my help eat? Now uh, the hen's asking, who's going to help me to eat it? Now everybody's answering, ek, hiho, ek, moo, moo, ek, woof, woof, ek, meow, meow. So everybody answers, me, me, me. Number eight. Oe, nee, ek sal dit self doen. Hmm, oh no, I will do it myself. Now I want you to answer the questions on page 76 in your workbook. Okay, A, it says, Hoeveel dieren is in die story? How many animals are in the story? You can see there are two questions ne um, next to number one. So count how many animals there are in the story and then you need to name them. Noem hulle. Number two, Wat gaan die rooi hennikie plant? What uh, will the red hen be planting? Number three, Wat er een is, is correct. Which one is correct? Die ander dieren is lei. Daar is net een ding wat hulle met die milies wil doen. The, uh, the other animals are lazy. There is only one thing they want to do with the corn. Hulle wil dit. They want to uh, pick it. They want to eat it. They want to cook it or plant it. Choose the correct one. You can just write the correct answer. Number four, which one doesn't fit? Die hennikie vraag die ander dieren om haar te help, om die milies te. So the hen's asking the other animals to help her to do what to the corn? To pick it, to plant it, to eat it or to cook it. Okay, your answers are there. Number B, you can just 
fill in the correct answer in your textbook. You don't have to draw this in your workbook. It is spelling. So what do we call that? We call that a hond. H-O-N-D. What is that? Heniki. H-E-N-N-E-T-Y-A. Wat het ek gesê is daai? Donkie de o n k i Daai is a koei. K o e a Daai is milies. M i l i s milies. Second last activity, pret met taal. Voltooi die sinne by die prentkie werkwoorde. So we are using verbs. So where are we going to find these verbs? Here at the top. Kook means cook. Pluck means pick. Plant. Plant means plant. And eat means eat. Die hennikie, hmm, mili pitte. What is she doing with the pips? Say, plant die mili pitte. Nummer 2, die hennikie. Sy, hmm, die milliepitte, die milies, sy, pluk die milies. Nummer drie, sy, die milies, sy, kook die milies. Sy, die milies, sy, eet die milies. So you can just rewrite these sentences and fill in your correct verb in color. Nummer B, ja. Verlede tyd. What are your steps for verlede tyd? Step 1, underline your verb. Step 2, put a head in its place. Step 3, take the verb to the back. Step 4, add a ge. Sy plik die milies. That is your verb. Put a head in its place. Sy het die milies geplik. Sy kook die milies. What is your verb? Underline your verb. Step 2, put a head in its place. Step 3, take the verb to the back. Step 4, add a ge. Sy het die milies gekook. Number 3, you can do by yourself. Now I want you to just fill in, in your textbook with your pencil, fill in the quotation marks. Um, where it's supposed to be. So, kui antwoord, the cow's answering, ek wil nie help nie. So, it is at the beginning of their direct words and at the end. So, we're closing the direct words. Roy Henneke Fra, first set, wie sal my help om die milies te plik? Close it, because she's done saying something. 3, 4 and 5, fill in your quotation marks. Your last activity. I want you to rewrite these three paragraphs, okay? It is um, about the story that we read, about the Rue Henniki. We are, you're, you will be using these words here to fill it in. Let's look at help means help. Pot means pot. Quick means cook. Self means yourself. Plant means plant. Means plant. Henniki means hen. Antwoord means answer, eet means eat, wie means who, rooi is red, ek is I, werk means work, dieren means animals. Now, as I read 